Now, what a lot of people don't know is that there are at least five to 10 banks in every single state that have no doc programs, that they offer business lines of credit for 50,000 and below, or even up to 175,000 and below with no financial documentation. Well, listen, let's go ahead and give people what they came to see, and that's how to get $100,000 in their businesses. And you said that's with PNC Bank. Yeah, just in the last six months, just in 2023, we've had at least 25 approvals with uh, PNC Bank for business lines of credit ranging from 50 to 100,000. Uh, over the years, we've gotten more than 100 approvals at PNC Bank. We've gotten close to $10 million in funding from PNC. Uh, PNC is the fourth largest bank in America, right behind Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. So it's a large bank. Uh, it's a nationwide lender. They're in like, you know, 30 plus states, 29 states or so. So it's a nationwide lender. And that's why they, uh, I guess I've been so drawn to them. I've had over a thousand clients in, you know, all 50 states. And PNC is just one of those banks like Chase, like Bank of America, Wells Fargo that you see in nearly every state. So it's always been a very good lender to get people approved for. Uh, with PNC Bank, that's kind of how we found out about them. They're in all states. But when I started calling them, I realized how easy it was to get approved. All my clients, they tell me all the time, uh, that was one of the easiest approvals. They say one of two things. It was either the easiest approval they ever got, or sometimes it depends on the branch. Uh, it could be a little bit uh, more interrogative, right? The bank yeah. was asking a lot of questions. They're intimidated. But uh, the reason why PNC is so powerful is that they offer a business line of credit and they can do it with no financials, no documentation for up to 100,000. Now, here's the thing about business lines of credit. A lot of people, they come to me and they say, Colin, I need 300 grand. I need 500 grand. I need a million dollars in funding. Well, you're not going to get that through credit cards because the average credit card is about $25,000 limit. It would take 10 cards to get to the $250,000 goal. So for my clients that have larger funding goals, yeah. I like to recommend the business line of credit because the business line of credit generally approves 50 to 100K and they have low documentation business lines of credit up to a quarter million dollars, 250,000. So generally, Another reason, uh, so business lines of credit, they're much larger than credit cards. We can get people a lot more funding. The other thing too with credit cards is that a lot of people need cash, right? And they have to do either cash advance or they have to find a way to liquidate or pull the cash off their cards. And this is usually gonna incur a fee for you, right? It's right. typically 3% if you do balance transfers. It could be 5% in other methods as well. Uh, but generally uh, you have to pay a liquidation service if you can't find anyone else to get the cash off the card for you. And these could be anywhere between five to 10%. So credit cards can be expensive, even though they're 0%, getting the cash off can be difficult and they're a lot smaller than business lines of credit. Now, the business line of credit, where it differs from a term loan, because the three major credit products that banks lend is the business credit card, the loan, and the line of credit. The line of credit is better than a term loan in some ways, because when you get approved for a loan, if you get approved for hundred grand, they disperse the entire hundred grand to your account and they're gonna start charging you interest on the entire amount. Well, what if you only use 10,000? Doesn't matter. You're paying interest on the full 100K. With a business line of credit, you're approved to use up to a certain amount, like 100,000, and you're only gonna pay interest on what you use. So if you do a fix and flip, if you need inventory, if you're running ads and you only use 10,000, well, you're only gonna pay on that 10,000. You're not gonna have to pay a lump sum like with a term loan. Uh, with a term loan, it's a one-time lump sum. With a line of credit, it's a revolving line that you can rinse and repeat and use again. And that's why a lot of people they like the business line of credit because maybe they're a real estate investor and when they're done flipping the deal, they can use that business line of credit again and again. So that's what makes it very powerful is that it's revolving like a credit card, but it's much higher limits like a loan. So with the business line of credit, there's generally three types. There's no documentation, means no docs, means they're just gonna run your credit. They wanna see a good 680 plus personal credit score. Okay. There's low documentation. That's typically just three months of bank statements or one year tax return. And then there's full documentation. Full docs is two years, personal and business tax return, a variety of different financial, uh, you know, paperwork involved in that one. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that there are at least five to 10 banks in every single state that have no doc programs, that they offer business lines of credit for 50,000 and below, or even up to 100 or 75,000 and below with no financial documentation. Uh, a lot of banks, it's, you know, uh, low doc for 100K to 250, three months bank statements, right? Showing revenue. Uh, so there's a lot of different programs out there. And the only way you're going to know is by calling the banks and figuring it out and speaking with your local banker. Uh, but the sad thing is that a lot of people, they're not aware that the business lines of credit can be obtained so easily with no documentation. And a lot of people would be better off with a business line of credit because again, if you need 200K, okay, well, if you're getting that through credit cards, you're going to incur 10 inquiries, getting 10, $25,000 cards, but we might be able to get you that entire 250K from just two 100K B locks or one 250K B locks. So it's a lot easier to do one application than it is to do 10. 
So that's the power of the business line of credit. It's much larger. It's a lot, you know, fewer applications and uh, it's available to anybody typically with a two year or older LLC. Generally, really when is, what it's going to come down to when you're trying to decide how to fund your business, the big question is how old is your business? Hmm. Because if you're under two years old, you're really only going to be able to get business credit cards. Business credit cards are good for startups. Any, even a brand new business can qualify. But for business loans and lines of credit, uh, the banks want to see that you have a two-year LLC. And that's because 80% of businesses fail in the first two years. And they minimize their risk by not lending large loans and lines of credit to anybody that's under two years in business. They only lend credit cards to those that are under two years in business generally. So if you have a new business, you're gonna be looking at doing a 0% credit card stack to get the access to funding. That's probably gonna be the best bet for you. If you have a six month business with revenue, you can actually get business loans, lines of credit with some lenders, but generally they wanna see a two year business. And if you have a two year business and you have good personal credit, you can get business lines of credit for 50 to 100K each and get total up, we've gotten people upwards of 500,000 with no docs, wow. no revenue on their business, no financial statements, anything like that. So it's an extraordinary opportunity to raise a large amount of capital in a little bit, uh, little amount of time and to have easy access to cash because you don't have to liquidate it. Wow. And listen, <laughs> this is literally, uh, the, I would say the best explanation of not just you know so people can understand you know how to just do business with uh pnc but you you, you talked about um just business credit and just funding uh in so many pieces just now yeah, absolutely you know the only way to enrich yourself is by enriching others right that's right right or as zig ziglar says uh you know you can have everything you want in life as long if as you, you only help, help other people get what they want that's right see see what happens when you guys when readers talk to readers okay yeah <laughs> awesome man awesome i do have another question so now and and, and if you could just I, it's really repeating what you uh, what you just mentioned. Um, when you said that there's three different types of the funding, when you say there's no docs and things of that sort, because I think that's there's a lot of confusion when it comes down to that. When people hear no docs, they think they oh well, I don't have to bring anything or show anything, and it's like well that's not exactly what that means, you know. But if you could break that down again, you said it was three different types again. Yeah, three types of business lines of credit and loans. Okay. No documentation or applications, we'll say. What what are they going to require for the application? No doc, low doc, and full doc. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say no doc, you really just need two things generally. You need your articles of incorporation to show that you actually have a business and your EIN letter. That's typically okay. it. With those two papers, you can go to any bank in America with your driver's license because that's your proof of identity, and you can open a checking account. That's all that's needed to open a checking account. They could typically look up your certificate of good standing and see online if it is they won't typically recommend that or recommend that you bring that you're only going to need your articles and your ein so that's no doc right you go open the checking account and we have tons of clients they bring those two papers they open a checking account with pnc bank mnt bank key bank and they open the checking account, $500 deposit, nothing crazy, 250, whatever the minimum is. And they ask the banker the same day, hey, I've got a two year LLC, so you know I'm not too young for the business line of credit. I have great credit scores, so you know I'm gonna qualify. We make good revenue and you can use a projection with many different banks. And I was curious, what would it take to apply for a $50,000 business line of credit? What would the application look like? And a lot of banks, and I have interviews with uh, various banks, but MNC Bank, for example, they say, well, Colin, for anything below 50,000, and it's no docs. So what that means is you fill out the application. They're going to ask you two things on the application. What is all your personal info and what is all your business info? Mm -hmm. Your personal info is your name, your address, your date of birth, all the things you know. A lot of people are scared and intimidated of these applications. The only thing that a lot of people mess up on that personal info is income. A lot of banks like Chase, it says, what is your income uh, or what will you reasonably expect to earn yeah. this year, which is a projection right, or stated income. And then for your business, they ask what's your business name, start date, industry, and then revenue. And a lot of people mess that up as well. They think that they just have to put zero dollars if they're not making money right now, yeah. and they can't use a projection as well. So that's what happens. A lot of these banks, they tell us, well, Colin, here at this bank, MNC Bank or Key Bank, we offer 50,000 below. It's, it's a quick, streamlined, easy application, and it's no documentation. So all we do is we run your credit, and if you're 700 plus, 30% utilization and below, not too many excessive inquiries, not more than three on that particular bureau in the last six months. We can approve you with stated income based off what you put on the application without needing tax returns or bank statements or any of these additional financial documentation. That would be no doc. Now, some banks will also tell you, well, Colin, if you want above 50,000 from 50 to 100K, it's gonna be low doc. 
it's going to be three months of bank statements. Right. Now, banks, they like to approve 10 to 15% of your revenue. So if you're making a million a year, 10 to 15% would be 100 to 150K. You could possibly qualify for a business line of credit up to 100 or 150K. Mm -hmm. So uh, generally, yeah, a lot of banks offer no doc for 50K and below, upwards of 100K. Uh, and then a lot offer low doc, three months bank statement for 50 to 100K. And then many banks for anything above 100K, it's gonna be full doc, you're gonna need tax returns. So what does this mean to the average person? That means in your state, there are probably five to 10 banks that will give you uh, 50K no docs and below, maybe two to three that will give you 100K no docs and below, and probably a good five to 10 that will do low docs if you're making revenue, have three months bank statement. Uh, for up to 100k as well. And if you're a business that's just crushing it, you have your tax returns. I have clients that come to me all the time. We had somebody the other day. He's doing 4.4 million years. Like, Colin, oh, what bank should I apply? To? You can apply to any bank. You have four tax returns showing four million dollars. Banks approved 10 to 15 percent. We could possibly get you a 500k business line of credit just from showing your tax returns. So uh, it depends on uh, the individual circumstance. Do you have an age corp? Do you have revenue? Are you looking for no doc? But the average person, if you take care of your good credit, that's the only thing you really need to get approved. Anybody can really obtain 50 to 100,000 of funding, whether it's through 0% credit card stacking on a new business, or it's no doc and low doc business lines of credit on a two year or older company. Wow, man, listen, the, the amount of time that you've spent learning and researching, that literally just shortened the learning curve for a lot of people that are watching this, right? So again, guys, I hope you guys took notes because listen, that's it, <laughs> okay? You know, so that's the game plan, that's the strategy, but you got, it means absolutely nothing if you guys are not putting action uh, behind this. I know, mean, just like with our YouTube members, we talk to you guys all the time, all of this means nothing if you don't take action. And if this is your goal, you most definitely wanna take action and you know, getting this information. But listen, uh, Colin talks about this stuff all the time on his YouTube channel, okay? So you guys most definitely wanna keep up with his videos as he drops them, constantly just giving these gems out. So make sure you guys go ahead and stop by his channel um, as well. Is there Are there any tips, by the way, uh, Colin, before we ju uh, jump out of here, um, any like final tips you wanna give people as they're on this journey for business credit? Yeah, the big thing I would say is head over to bankbranchlocator.com. And basically what that bank does or what that website does, it shows you the top 20 banks in your state or you can see the top 50 list. It also shows you the top 50 in the nation. But what I would do is I would look at the top 20 banks in your state. You can pull up the map. You could even type your zip code, see what's in your area. And I would spend three to five minutes going to every single bank's website in my area and you should interview banks why because who you bank with that's a partnership they're doing business with you right and you as a business owner you need access to capital so you can grow and scale your business and so who you bank with is very important if you think about it because if you bank with some full doc bank that's not going to lend you anything and you had a big opportunity to invest in this or do this and then the opportunity passed you by because you didn't have access to the capital because you had the wrong bank relationship so everybody should interview their banks and how you do it is you go to bank branch locator pull up your top 20 list go to every single bank's website it takes three to five minutes head over to the business tab and look at their business lending products and what we're looking for is two primary things their business credit card is it zero percent because if it's not we don't care we don't want a 30 percent credit card that doesn't help us so is it zero percent cool and then the next thing we're looking at is the business line of credit business loan is it no doc or is it low doc or are they super stringent? You know, are they very strict? And they're gonna ask me for a lot of documentation that I possibly don't have and I'm not gonna qualify for. So that's not a relationship I need. And how you can find out, here's a huge tip, how you can find out what banks are no doc. A lot of banks on their website, you'll see, it says even on the website, uh, I, I guess a good example I could give you is a website called Emma G Bank. You go to mm -hmm. emmagbank.com, you look at their business line of credit. It says for borrowing needs under 50,000, get a same day decision and next day funding. Well, if you're getting a same day decision, it's a simple application process. And that's because it's no docs. That's how they're able to give you a same day decision is all they're doing is running your credit and verifying your business. If your business is verified and everything was true and your credit qualifies, they could give you a same day decision. Hey, you're approved for 50,000. And then it also says it on their website for borrowing needs over 50,000, get on the phone with our representative it's going to be full docs or they're going to require more documentation so what you can do is go to every business website business line of credit and see does it say quick easy same day decision streamlined application simplified application process because those are all key words that indicate it could be a no doc business line of credit so spend three to five minutes looking at the business credit card the business loan line of credit on every website of the top 20 banks in your area 
Call them and ask to speak with either a business relationship manager, a vice president, or a business banker and interview them. Let them know I'm a local business owner. I'm gonna need access to about 50,000. What is it gonna take for me to get that from you? And if they're not the bank to lend to you, you probably shouldn't do business with them. You shouldn't open a checking account because you're gonna need capital to scale your business. And there are banks out there that are willing to lend to you and it's gonna be very simple uh, and easy, so. Wow, wow. Man, that was huge. Like that that's like a whole nother video by itself. <laughs> uh for sure. Well, thanks again, Colin. We greatly appreciate your time, man. Uh just giving this information as well. Listen, guys, as I said before, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his channel. He's dropping these these gems all the time. You know, so that's how I found him. Okay. So again, you most definitely want to go ahead, make sure you guys uh check out his channel, learn more about this stuff, and put action behind all of this. Thanks again, Colin, for your time. We greatly appreciate you stopping by. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.